<clears throat> Hello? Is this thing on? Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing on this computer. I'm supposed to log into Microsoft Teams? Oh my goodness, I have no idea how to do that. Well, hey, Frank, I think I can probably help you. Really? Yeah, totally. I can teach you how to log into Teams so that you can chat with everybody. Oh, man, that would be amazing. Thanks, Mr. Sharwa. No problem, Frank. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open up the Teams dot microsoft dot com on a website you may have to download the app as well and that's totally fine it's a free app so you can download it to your phone or to your ipad or to a desktop computer uh, it's a little bit easier to use through that so the address again is teams dot microsoft dot com once you're there you will have this sign up screen so when you log into Teams, you can click the icon at the bottom, and then this screen will come up, and you have to type in your email address, so your school-given email address. Then you'll hit Sign In once your email address is put in, and it'll take you to the password screen. Type in your password, and then you just have to wait. Does the internet always take this long? I thought it was supposed to make things faster. Oh, don't worry, Frank. It's fast enough. You just got to give it some time. Once you log in, you'll see all of your team sections. Now, you won't see grade 2 material. You're seeing that because it's Madison's account. But you can click chat up in the corner, and that'll take you to your messages. Now, each of you are going to have your own message with Mr. Hagel and I, so you can make sure you click on that one first. You click on the bottom of the screen and then you start typing your message to either Mr. Hagel or myself. And you can ask us, let us know what's going on, and ask us if we have a chance to talk. Okay, so I type in, hello Mr. Hagel, are you able to talk? I have a problem, a question about the homework. Oh, a question about my homework. Is that okay? That is perfect. Then hit the send. Now. As you were looking around here, there's a couple things that you can notice. And right now you can see that Mr. Sharwa has sent something, but we also need to know if Mr. Hagel's around. Now, if we all go through the office hours, we know that he will be around. As you can see, Frank, he's typing. Oh my goodness, he is typing! I can't wait to see what he says! If you click his name at the top, you can see that he's here. He is available because there's a green check mark. Oh, perfect. Oh, he said, hi. Do you want to meet text or video chat? Oh, video, please. All right. Now, Frank, here's the thing is when you ask for a video chat, Mr. Hagel or Mr. Sharble will be the ones to start the chat for you, just because then they'll know that they're free to talk. Okay. Hopefully he says yes. I think he will. All right. So he's going to start right away. So now we just wait, and then all of a sudden in the corner of your screen, you should get a message. Or if it's on an iPad, you should come, it should pop up right away. Oh, there it is! It says there's a phone call! Right, so you can either answer the phone with audio, or you can choose the video. And we're going to click the video. Oh, there he, there he is! That's great! So there you have it, Frank. You did it. You logged into Teams and you talked to Mr. Hagel. I sure did. And it was awesome. Thanks, Mr. Sharma, for all your help. No problem, Frank. I'm always here to help. You can email me or now send a message on Teams and I can help you with anything you need. Wow. Thanks. Um, okay. Bye, Frank. Bye, Mr. Sharma. Now, how do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Um, I don't... There, I think I got it. Oh, man, I've had to fart the whole time. Oh, so much better. Oh, oh my gosh, it's still on? Oh, oh turn that off. Oh, 